Top 25 Women's Basketball Poll, undefeated teams take some hits. The group of undefeated teams started the week 7 strong but now stands at 3. Number 1 South Carolina, number 2 UCLA, and number 4 Baylor remain unscathed heading into week 9. Those three held strong, but others moved around as conference play is underway. Here are the three biggest impacts on my Associated Press Top 25 ballot. NC State loses River Baldwin, drops first game of season. NC State entered the week with the toughest schedule of any top 25 team, hosting then no 22 Florida State and traveling to then no 13 Virginia Tech in ACC action. The test of their number 3 ranking and undefeated status became even tougher when 6-5 graduate center River Baldwin exited the game against the Seminoles late in the third quarter with an ankle injury. She had 21 points, which remained a team high despite the team needing overtime in an 88-80 victory. Baldwin is one of six Wolfpack players averaging at least double digits. She also leads the team in rebounds, 7.8 per game, and blocks, 1.6. She does all of the things that won't show up in a stat sheet, like the key charges she took against the Seminoles. Baldwin was on the bench in a boot Sunday when NC State lost, 63-62, on a last-second bucket by 2023 Naismith finalist Elizabeth Kitley. It was a great play call by head coach Kenny Brooks, fantastic pass by Kayla King and exquisite screen by point guard Georgia Amor to tie up the Wolf Pack in the paint. But NC State was hampered without the size and skill of Baldwin, who was replaced in the starting lineup by freshman guard Zoe Brooks. Mimi Collins, a 6-3 forward, and Asia Ha James, their leading scorer, dealt with foul trouble. Ultimately, I didn't drop NC State in my ballot, where the Wolf Pack are number 4, because it was an impressive loss on the heels of losing Baldwin. The Wolf Pack are still a dangerous group with one of the best backcourts in the nation and are poised to be even better in the long term if Baldwin returns after two or three weeks, as NC State head coach Wes Moore anticipates. UConn rising after rare bumpy non-conference start. UConn steadily climbed from number 17, its lowest ranking in 30 years, to 15 in week 8 and 12 in week 9. I dropped them only as low as number 15, but have also brought them up as the Huskies have found themselves in recent weeks with a smaller lineup. I moved them up two spots to number 10 this week because of their 93-50 win over number 21 Creighton. It came four days after they crushed then no 18 Marquette, 95-64. The two are likely to be the Huskies' top challengers in the Big East and the victories were statements by the Huskies. Marquette, which lost to St. John's, dropped entirely out of my ballot. UConn looked lost offensively in the early slate and averaged an uncharacteristic 15.8 assists over their first eight games. Only once, in the season opener over Dayton, did the Huskies have more than 20 assists. In the last six games, they've had fewer than 20 only once and are averaging 22 a game. UConn teams haven't averaged fewer than 18 assists per game in at least the last 15 years. Freshman Ashlyn Shade and KK Arnold moved into the starting lineup and are consistently reaching double-digit scoring to boost Paige Buchers, 19.9 ppg, and Aaliyah Edwards, 